On the stiff twig up there hunches a wet black rook, arranging and rearranging its feathers in the rain. I do not expect miracle or an accident to set the sight on fire in my eye, nor seek any more in the desultory weather some design, but let spotted leaves fall as they fall, without ceremony or portent. Although I admit I desire occasionally some back talk from the mute sky, I can't honestly complain a certain minor light may still leap incandescent out of kitchen table or chair, as if a celestial burning took possession of the most obtuse objects now and then, thus hallowing an interval otherwise inconsequent. By bestowing largesse, honor, one might say love. At any rate, I now walk wary, for it could happen even in this dull, ruinous landscape, skeptical yet politic, ignorant of whatever angel may choose to flare suddenly at my elbow. I only know that a rook ordering its black feathers can so shine as to seize my senses, haul my eyelids up, and grant a brief respite from fear of total neutrality. With luck, trekking stubborn through the season of fatigue, I shall patch together a content of sorts. Miracles occur if you take to call those spasmodic tricks of radiance, miracles, the wait's begun again, the long wait for the angel, for that rare random descent.